hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so as you'll have seen from the thumbnail it's just a really quick clean with me so i had a bit of time this morning before i went to the gym and i just thought i'd show you my typical speed clean um this bit is slightly not typical but i thought i'd include it because sometimes i do have flowers so i was very kindly bought some flowers for my friend and the little the bright pink roses and then i bought a couple of the light pink and the gypsophilia and just spending some time putting them in my vase so typically these will last like two to three weeks hopefully um, and they just add a bit of brightness to the kitchen so and these are also the ones I got from Aldi they're about £2.29 I want to say um, so I definitely recommend if you can afford to just buy yourself a bit of flowers and it will just cheer your house up. just a little tip and what I like to do so whenever I have flowers I always strip back the foliage so um, there's no leaves or excess stuff in the water because I think it makes the water last longer and I just give a little snip at an angle just so it's got a fresh bit um, of stem for the water to go up and yeah it just seems to make the flowers last a lot longer. I put all my flowers in and tidied all the excess away that was my um, vase of flowers which I just think looks really nice and is definitely going to brighten the kitchen up for a good few weeks um, once I've done that my typical weekend clean is just to and actually my typical weekday clean as well so when it's just a speed clean um, just going in with some Dettol multi-surface spray to wipe the sides with a minky microfiber cloth and then as this isn't like a longer clean just putting the same spray into the sink and just using um, some kitchen roll to buff that up and get rid of any like marks or anything. And at the weekend, and particularly if we've been cooking something which smells quite strong, like curry or something, I like to just put a bit of boiling water into the sink and then just put some zaflora in. And then here is a video of my dining table. Now, if you'd have seen my Instagram last weekend, uh, R number 41, you'll see I shared that this is like the bane of my life. The marks and stuff on it just really get me down. So if anyone's got any recommendations for um, like a tablecloth, please do let me know. But what I tend to do like day to day after we've eaten, um, I did leave it there purposely to show you what I deal with but um, yeah so just go in with the Dettol spray again and then go in with the um, pink stuff glass cleaner and minky glass cloth just to buff that up um, and then I put my vase of flowers on the table in the kitchen just because it's just, like the focal point of that half of the room and it just draws your attention in and it makes the room look really bright and happy. So after the dining table, just going on to my side. So just using the Mr. Sheen um, like polish and a microfiber cloth just to buff any dust off, um, just on the doors and the side. Um, this stuff um, I only got a few weeks ago and it does seem to be really good. One thing I would say is though, um, I've noticed on the mirrors, it's like smearing a bit. So I don't know if it, it's the product or the cloth I'm using. So I just need to test out a few more cloths um, before I can find what I really, really like with it. Um, so once I've done that again, as this isn't a deep clean, it's just a speed clean, going in with the um, Dettol spray again, wiping all the island down, doing the same on the cupboard doors, which if you've been a uh, subscriber for a long time, you know that is my typical weekend, even if it's a long clean or a quick clean, I always do that. 
um, and then going in with the glass cleaner to do the hob and the oven doors. And once done all my dusting and wiping, it's time to hoover. I apologise, I only got a video of me hoovering my hallway. Um, I don't know where the video of the kitchen one went. But yeah, so that is what I do. And then I will also uh, mop the floor as well. But yeah, so here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.